I, uh, I really feel like someone up there, whether it be to a dog or Tencent, they're like, all right, guys, let's, let's stop printing money. Hi. Welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today I wanted to talk about all of the material that we have for the upcoming event, all of the event previews, all of the stuff that have come up on Twitter, the PVs. Because riding off the back of Dragon Maid, I think expectations are a little bit low. So I wanted to give you newer players, especially the ones who did come with the Dragon Maid event, kind of like heighten your expectations, hype you up a little bit because like Dragon Maid is not normal. Like speaking of Dragon Maid, let's go have a look at this ending cutscene, which was just as disappointing as the first cutscene when they first arrived. Like honestly, this was a massive bag of disappointments. This world will not approve of you. Like bro, I don't even know who this guy is and I don't even know what is going on. Why? Why why are they leaving? You, you literally just came, right? You literally just came. So, I don't even know what is going on here. However, at the end of this sequence was something interesting and I'm sorry that I did digress a little bit from like the main purpose of this video, but essentially we were dropped with a few hints over here. I think it might be the next line here, maybe? Yeah, this one over here. But there could be a next time. I don't know. Event rerun confirms, maybe. And if they do rerun it, I am sure it's gonna be hype. Like if there is anything that Alchemy Stars Tour Dog got out of this, it's our feedback, let's put it that way. And so yeah, like that entire cutscene to me was meaningless except for this one line over here. But there could be a next time. That's it, folks. All right, so pretty keen to see a rerun of this one, uh, hopefully incorporating some kind of story. However, let's get back to the main topic at hand, which is this event preview here. So there are a lot of different things happening here, which are quite interesting, right? We've got a uh, yum yum, this tastes great. We've got essentially a bunch of schoolgirls and a teacher looking person. However, a teacher looking person is not actually a teacher. I'm pretty sure she is a researcher from Illumina. Now, whilst I would like to talk about all of them, I think the main takeaway is that all three of them are actually foreign in this underground city, wherever they are. This is also like the first time we've seen a JK or schoolgirl kind of outfit in this game. I think Tour Dog have tried to avoid this for quite some time. However, uh, like I said, I think it's time to print money. And so with this teaser in mind, let's head on over to the Twitter, which has quite a lot of information. And so let's start off with this one over here. There's a strange signal in the communication system. This is an encrypted signal from Illumina. I'm gonna bust this bad boy open and let's have a watch together. Mayday. Mayday. We've got somebody calling in, a Sivon from Illumina Research Lab speaking. Do you copy? An accident has just occurred and I need reinforcements from Illumina. If there are any Illumina personnel at the northern border, please take down my coordinates. Repeat, please take down my coordinates. I think I've seen this like twice already, so that's why I know the words. So this one is really interesting. First of all, they reference the north border and that is because that is kind of where the navigator and where we are at in the story, like it's where the navigator is. And so that kind of brings up the question and the concern because I know a lot of people who have been here since day one, they will kind of get it all because every single event since the start, it has been like very sequential. It's kind of even would say the events stitch into a storyline 2.0. And so yeah, that is actually a mild concern because again, with a lot of the newer players, especially from the Dragon Maid influx, that could pose as a problem. And whilst most people would praise Tour Dog for like the story writing and all of that, like a lot of the people aren't going to really get what's going on in the story because like a lot of the events that are probably going to occur in this event, Maiden and the Ruins, probably occurred in some other events and because those events are not available anymore that's yeah that's missing out essentially and so tour dog my doggy i think it is time for an event compendium especially if this is the route that you're taking for all of the events especially the story however that is all i really have to say about that one over there so let's move on to the next little piece of content which is the introduction of sivon as well as erica over here so we've got extreme depth 873 meters underground. Now, I think this is gonna be interesting because this is actually our first time going underground in all of the lore and story of this entire game. And so I think like being underground and honestly, like I, I don't know if the underground context is really has anything to do with it, but I do think we are gonna be getting either new map mechanics or new enemy mechanics and potentially both. All right, so that's my speculation based on the underground. However, after that, we've got some Aurorian previews, which is pretty cool. To date, we have Erica over here. So Erica Electro Flash, oh, I, 
I really hope she actually is a thunder unit because if she turns out to be water, I don't even know what to do anymore. Anyway, Erica, probably likely to be either a sniper or a detonator. She is holding a sword, but then again, we've got uh, old mate Iridan who is also holding like a sword and a staff kind of thing, and she is very much a converter. Honestly, without anything that is like sure fire or like, for example, Fleur uses guns, he is probably going to be a sniper. Like you could never look at Erica and be like, okay, she's probably a detonator. You could never have looked at Charon and have been like, okay, well, he uses trains and so therefore he's a detonator. So yeah, no speculation on her class. However, she does have another hint in her story. She follows Florine everywhere and has fantastical ideas. I think Florine may be one of the last characters that are about to be introduced. So if I leave Erica behind over here and come back to the preview, you'll see Erica is this one over here. However, Erica was not actually featured in this screenshot at all. We've only got two other student characters. And so I believe that one of these two characters are Florine, either this gray haired one or this blonde one down here. And then of the two, I think one of them is going to be our five star. Now, why five star? Well, the first thing is that I do believe Erica is probably going to be our welfare unit. And if she's not our five star welfare unit, then she could very well be the four star unit. The reason I say this is because historically speaking, we have had all of the welfares come out first or are released first. Hitman, as you can see for the Bethel event, Hitman was the welfare unit for that event. And so after that, we had the release or reveal of Luke. And then I believe Bethel came right after that. That is certainly one way that we could go. We could have the five star welfare and then two six stars. But then after that, we had Cordy as well as Hachi and Gin, I think. So over here, down here, we got the furry bros and then Hedy over here. So yeah, it's likely going to be one or the other, right? A four star, a five star and a six star, or it's going to be a five star welfare and potentially two six stars. All right. And so that is Erica for you. So moving on, we also have this one. Oh my God. Oh, mama. Let's put it that way. I think that is the best way to put it. So I believe her name is Sivon on stream. I called her Sioban and I got corrected. Apparently it's Sivon, Irish name. So Sivon's trait or her characteristic is around silky web. So I suspect it very much going to be like, we pretty much got female Spider-Man in our Alchemy Stars universe. But anyway, all I see here is money printer. I see, I see armpits. I see feet. I see a pretty face with a mask on like, oh, Jesus, <laughs> to a dog. You know what you're doing, man. And so here, I believe we are seeing our first six star. It could be that we have two six stars, but I think Sivon at the very least is going to be one of them. As for her element, I have no freaking idea because there is nothing in this background that suggests anything. But if I was to wager a guess, I don't think she's going to be water and watch this bite me in the ass. And I would probably trend towards either forest or fire. Why forest? Because of like the spidery stuff that's kind of being included. And why fire? Obviously, because because of like the red theme. All right, but yeah, that is Sivon. She is certainly gonna sell, like she's got a grip on my jammies. But yeah, that's kind of it for Sivon. I guess we'll just have to see on the reveal. All right, <laughs> here we go, Nadine. Essentially a sailor skirt, a sailor outfit. This is what I mean, and it may actually be the context of only this event, but with this patch, it really does feel like Tour Dog just said, all right guys, let's get those Lambos. However, although I'm mentioning it as though it's a bad thing, like I'm freaking all for it, man. I am, this is right up my alley. And the fact of the matter is, is that this freaking gorgeous skin is free. It is going to be free in our battle pass. Awesome. Awesome. Freaking awesome. However, let's move on. Another Erica reveal over here. We've got the lightning sparks as well. This is Ascension version, so probably her A3 art. And so yeah, I hope I don't get debated, especially because of the lightning sparks. Last time I looked at that, I looked at freaking Fleur and it turns out he was water. Like, bruh, come on, man. But all of that has been building up towards this one right here. We've got a new Eve skin. Eve, Eve, Eve. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that, my guys. We've got twin tails. We've got gym uniform, like a Japanese gym uniform. Uh, I don't even know, man. Tool Dog aren't even trying to hide it at this point. This is insane. This is absolutely, utterly insane. If I had Eve, I would cop this. Absolutely cop this. And obviously, there is no expectation. Like, if this is not a money printer, then I do not know what is. However, I do think that we will be getting one more of these skins, whether it be a schoolgirl or JK style, or we might even get a teacher-esque one. Like, imagine a teacher Sinsa or a teacher Jonah, something like that, right? And so that's all we've got so far 
Uh, in terms of like the normal event, we've got a new triple R banner. Since they're over here, Regina and Beverly, this is actually a fantastic banner to roll on. And the reason it's fantastic is because Cinsa is very much still like at the top of the tiers for your fire DPS. Until somebody comes along with something better than like freaking diagonal attacks as well as defense down as well as a massive AoE, I think Cinsa is going to be the king detonator for fire for quite a long time. On the other hand, we've got Beverly over here who is a four tower converter for the thunder element. Literally cannot go wrong with Beverly or anyone in that archetype. And so if you are missing Cinsa or Beverly, then I would encourage you guys to roll on this one if not just like for the 10 pull. But if you do have Cinsa or Beverly, I do think that their BT3s or like their dupes, their breakthroughs are quite decent. However, I think this is the beginning of an era, right? An era where we can actually start rolling for the limited characters or rather previously limited with our yellow flares. After Cinsa, we're probably going to see Hero. We're probably going to eventually see like Revy, Graham, Smokey. Probably going to see like Paloma, like please come home mommy. Like please. So I think it's time to stop dumping your yellows into triple R to like just cause and to start saving them for these banners because like their value has just skyrocketed. But honestly, we knew that this day would come. All right, I think that's actually it for this one. And so I think it's time to pass on this question to you guys. You guys are gonna cop this, right? Like you guys are all gonna cop this. Well, those of you with Eve at least, right? And I guess the other question would be, well, you guys are also gonna cop this as well, right? You guys will go for the you know, all of this. See Vaughn, and honestly, I made a pact with myself that I would not be rolling on anything that is not limited. I am a... I am tempted already. Let me know how you guys are feeling about the upcoming update. If there is anything I've missed, if there are any more clues, actually. And honestly, the more I look at Sivon, the more I think that she is going to be Thunder. Oh my god, you know what? Let's just wait for the reveal. So yeah, my guys, let me know what you think about the events down in the comments below. And if you do leave a comment, I would really appreciate that because it means you watch up until the end of the video. So thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, please consider a like. And if you did want to see more, then please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, as our girl Erica once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.